What is going on my reefing fam? My name is March, this is Fragbox TV. This is a YouTube channel that showcases our lovely store here in Toronto that specializes in saltwater aquariums. Look at Tia's uh, flat, we're going with flat, Mr. Devin. When these are ready and to be released, we will be sending you one of these on the house, wherever you live in the world. People ask us all the time, are we gonna send them uh, to the United States? We're gonna send them everywhere. We like the name flat, it's perfect, it's four letters. Um, thank you very much for that suggestion. I'll give you an update video on this as it comes along. What I'm going to talk about today is I'm setting up some new stuff with the Neptune Apex. So if you're not interested in Neptune Apex, maybe skip today's video and come back tomorrow for the next one. What I'm doing is setting up a leak detector. So one of the cool things, or maybe st stick around actually, this is a, uh, I think a really good investment for anyone that has an aquarium at home. The Neptune Apex is a controller. It hooks up your entire aquarium to your phone or to an app. It will automatically test your water with this calcium elk mag. It will dose. They have return pumps. They have wave makers. They have temperature probes, pH probes. It'll measure your salinity. And on top of that, oh, auto top off. On top of that, not only will it measure those things, if something goes out of whack, it'll take action. So it's a monitor, a controller, and for us, sort of an insurance plan. I have the entire store. Why are the lights off? Hmm. Oh, because the store is closed. My favorite time to make videos when nobody is here. So we have this entire, entire store hooked up to the Neptune Apex in, in case anything ever goes wrong. It's going to notify me right on my phone. This tank's looking a little empty. We do have new corals coming before the end of the month. Two very large orders coming in. Okay, we got all the sidetracks out of the way and I'm going to show you what I'm doing today with leak detectors. So if you ever get water on the floor, if for some reason, I don't know, battery died, sorry, why would you get water on the floor? Um, your, let's say your ATO failed. Not this one, this is a Duetto. I've never seen one fail yet, but let's say your ATO got stuck on and dumped all of this water onto the floor. Um, that could be one reason. Maybe there's a power outage and your sump is not designed properly. Water on the floor. How else can water end up on the floor? Um, lots of ways, actually. Maybe your tank explodes at the seams. I'm not going to use that as an example. I hope that never happens to anyone or it's going to, it's happened to people, but that's, that's not fun. There's lots of ways water can end up on the floor. So this will notify you if you set up this little handy thing right here, leak detection kit, clever name, because we're detecting leaks. So I've already gone ahead and installed it with two different center sensors. So if you get this kit, um, you can hook up these, which are called optical sensors and how these work when this little sensor here on the end gets wet it's gonna give you a notification and then you can tell it what to do based on that notification. So I've gone ahead already and installed it. It's super easy, it comes with a magnet and I have it mounted here in the back. They actually mount like this. So when this gets wet, it will, first of all, it'll notify you and says, uh, I'm wet. And then second, you can tell it what to do based on being wet. So a lot of people will use this in their sump so let's say the power goes out and the sump, your sump level tends to rise naturally. Um, as soon as that thing gets wet, then you're gonna get a notification and then you can tell it to, to do something based on that. What I have it doing is turning off a pump in the basement. So we're setting up our new tanks here in the store as we speak. And to make our lives a little bit easier, I'm plumbing them all downstairs into one sort of uh, mini sump because we're gonna have three or four tanks. I don't feel like testing alkalinity, 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 salinity, 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 calcium, calcium, calcium. You get the point. It's a lot of testing. It's four new systems in the store. So what I'm doing is plumbing them into one over here in the back. So if for some reason my drain gets clogged, this is gonna overflow and we don't want water on the floor. So this is my first line of defense. Let's say this guy, I don't know, guy, woman, part, whatever, this doesn't work, this fails. What I've done is put a leak detector over here, oh, somewhere on the floor, where are you? Hey, you see this little thing? When this gets wet, this is called a solid surface leak detection probe. So you can mount these anywhere anywhere that you think you might end up with water. So what we do here in the store is I'm gonna simulate a pretend float, flood. So I'm going to clog this hole right here. I'm gonna block it. Oh, that's another common way you can have a flood. Your overflow gets clogged. So I'm gonna block that. And then I'm gonna watch where water tends to fall out of the tank because maybe the sand isn't 100% level. Maybe it's gonna come out this corner or this corner. And then I'm gonna place this detector 
in that spot on the back here it has you can see this one's used but uh it, it's actually done its job before it's gotten wet a few times so i'm gonna place that there and when this gets wet i'm gonna get again an alarm and i'm going to turn off the pump that's feeding this tank until we figure out what's going on you also get a audible alarm so we have ours set to like some weird little tone and the apex will start making noise and the way they hook up is with this little box here fmm so when you buy that kit you get this fluid uh, fluid monitoring kit and it gives you four ports you see on the bottom there so you can plug in up to four things you can do four optical sensors four leak detectors four uh, whichever you want if you use up all four and you want more then you can hook up more i'm setting up uh, two on every single tank because I really really like redundancy. I expect things to fail So if he stops working then I have that one there on the floor and the chances of both of them failing are Quite slim. That's just one of the cool features you can get with um, The Neptune Apex. There's a lot a lot of other toys I told you guys I wanted to do videos on everything. It's gonna take me some time Maybe if I would stop traveling to the States to refa Palooza's I'd have time to do it Neptune light. That's another thing they make. That's absolutely awesome. We're using over to here on our Red Sea reefer 250 It's just dimming going out for the end of the day Absolutely love the light one of them covering 36 inches side to side evenly and it's turned down to like Maybe 60% it's well it is soft coral, but it puts out a tremendous tremendous amount of light if you have any questions about this LDK setting it up anything like that oh, maybe I'll give you a quick rundown really quickly before we wrap up today's Neptune apex video the way you set it up is very simple if you don't already have an apex this might not really make sense But basically once you plug it in oh, Once you plug it in you're gonna get um, Four new little ports here, and then I just name them whatever I want to name them So this one I have called fish wet, so I know that if this goes off um, it Goes to close which means wet. I know exactly where I'm looking for a leak in the store 250 wet corresponds to a leak detector that's underneath our Red Sea Reefer 250. So if that goes off, then I know, okay, something's wrong over there. And I have them set up all over the store and I can't tell you how many times it saved our butt. If you have a store, I think it's a great investment. If not, still a great investment for your tank. If you have hardwood floors at home, if you like keeping them uh, the way they are, it's really, really worthwhile. To get into it, you need at least the Apex EL, this one here which is their entry level kind of less expensive option. I think it runs about 700 here in Canada. Don't quote me on that. And once you get that, that'll give you an energy bar. It'll give you the brain. You get a temperature probe, you get a pH probe, and then that's basically your foot in the door and you can, it's very modular. You can buy any of these other products and toys that you like. The auto feeder is really uh, another popular item. There's, there's so much to cover. I'm not going to do any more in this video. I'm going to wrap it up. If you have questions though about setting one up, please send us an email, give us a call here at the store, open seven days a week. And thank you again to Dustin for the name on this very cool new uh, tank here in the store. We're gonna send you one for free. Just shoot me your full mailing address and bear with us because they do take some time to get in. We are, it's in prototype stage right now. So we are making three adjustments to absolutely perfect the filter. And uh, yeah, you'll see these coming to you very soon. We're gonna ship them all over the world. Thank you for watching today's video. If you like it, give me one of these, subscribe. If not, I don't know why you haven't subscribed yet, but we'll see you guys back here very soon. Have a nice day, bye-bye.